Hey guys, how you doing? So before we get started, I thought I would say that rule number one in making any kind of video is to make sure your batteries are charged. And I made that mistake. I thought my batteries were charged and it turns out when I was out there on location, uh, I only had about 20% battery power left. So I hope you guys still enjoy this, uh, this video. Hang around to the very end. You'll get to see the, uh, the image that I took. And with all that being said, let's switch off with, let's uh, head, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> let's uh, switch over to the drone footage right now. Absolutely beautiful uh, location here at uh, Diamond Bay here in the Mornington Peninsula. Unfortunately, I've got to fly back tomorrow, but um, this is definitely going to uh, make up for it. I'm using a uh, Hyder uh, soft grad filter with a uh, polarized filter and an ND filter for the added extra um, exposure time just to. Uh, Get a bit more movement uh, in this water and uh, right now as you can sort of see I've got the uh, the coastline um, sort of going around leading your eye out into the distance with these uh, three or four rock formations but believe it or not if you go uh, more across to the right it actually looks like two and when I started walking along, I, felt, I noticed there was um, a three rock formation, so I knew that I had to come across uh, to the side a bit more and, and capture those three rock formations. I think it just adds a little bit more to the image. And then I've got um, all this grass uh, just down the bottom here. And as you can see, as the light's coming through on the horizon there, it's just adding just this beautiful light to the tops of the um, the grass, a nice shadow effect on the foreground here, so um, it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful spot and I, uh, I can't wait I'll definitely be coming back here again, that's for sure so I'm using a, a um, an aperture of F, F13 uh with an ISO of 200. The only reason I use ISO 200 is because I've got the Astro ver Nikon's Astro camera, so the Nikon D810A, and uh, that's only got a native um, low ISO of 200, so uh, I've got to shoot at uh, ISO 200, which has a few little extra challenges, but um, it's still not too much of an issue there. Uh, so uh, F13, and I don't really have a lot of battery power left, believe it or not, in this video camera here. So while I wait for the sun to set a little bit more, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to tell you my exact settings um, exposure-wise on this shot. But me telling you these exposure settings really isn't going to add too much um, to the knowledge and helping these guys take photos. Because as the sun sets, the exposure times are going to get longer compared to what they are now anyway on any, any given day. But um, yeah, I hope you've uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this um, this video, and uh, if you'd like to um, see where my next location is or where photography takes me next, please uh, give me a subscribe. If you um, if you just enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, 
give it a like or, or shout us out a comment or something like that. It'd be great. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get back to it before this battery goes flat. And uh, see you next time.